actually think, and if you do a very in-depth analysis of the proposals, um, I would say that the intent of the proposals, which it doesn't say, but if you analyze it, you can only conclude that the intent of the proposals is to actually make it more costly and less efficient for retail investors to access the markets directly. And what we worry about, if, if, if you think about that, and we sort of alluded to it along the way, our markets are the most liquid and dynamic and transparent in the world. And you, know, you hear that phrase over and over, and every time everyone says it, they usually then say, but we need to change this one thing, and it'll make things better. And what we are worried about with this series of proposals is we don't exactly know why our markets are the best in the world, right? We could talk about a lot of different things. We could talk about the global economy. We could talk about our market structure. But certainly, one of the things that makes our markets as strong as they are is the presence of retail investing in the public markets. And so while it's a, it's a relatively small part of our overall business, the, the actual retail execution, we do think that ensuring that retail investors have a very strong access and ability to trade in the markets directly, especially when you talk about small and mid-cap names and a lot of the liquidity that they're providing in that segment of the market is, is very important.